Welcome back. This is Aquarium Hacks by Marcus. And today we're going to be talking about a video which I am very uh, familiar with and have a lot of experience with. And that is uh, real rock versus fake rock. And uh, this is what this video is going to be about today. It probably will end up being a little bit of a longer video. I won't try to make it too long. And of course, I probably won't be able to cover all the ins and, and, and outs of uh, fake rock versus real rock. The benefits, the cons, the pros of uh, using one or the other or maybe both at the same time. Um, so when it comes to uh, aquariums um, and it comes to getting rock. A lot of us like to um, try to try to get rocks for our aquariums, whether there's an African cichlid tank, whether there's a freshwater tank, whether there's a saltwater tank, or whatever kind of tank. Most of us are going to use some kind of rock in our tank, and according to the kind of rock that you get, you can either pay a lot for it, or you can pay virtually nothing for it. So let's get started. First of all, let's talk about the benefits of having real rock in your aquarium. Okay, here are the benefits of having real rock in your aquarium. Now, of course, my lights are not on, but if you look at my tank behind me, maybe we can get a little bit of a closer view, hopefully. And if you look at the tank behind me, and this tank, as of now, I am using all real rock. Now, this is with the lights off look how this tank looks with all real rock used in it it looks absolutely spectacular right okay now do you know how much money i paid for all this real rock i paid zero dollars zero dollars for all this real rock the only thing that i paid for was that uh, Mopani root wood, the African driftwood that I got in there. I've got two pieces. I paid for them on Chewy. Everything else I got for free. Yes, free. Didn't pay one, not even one and dime for it. Now, why is that? Because I got all my rock uh, from local, from, from the locality here where, where I live. Um, I got them. Uh, I got a friend, like I said, that just lives out in the country. She has a creek. She has all these rocks. I get all the rocks that I want. Matter of fact, I get I get enough rocks that where I can decorate my uh, yard <laughs> and my flower bed with those rocks. Um, and so, um, so one pro of actually having getting a real rock, if you can find them in your locality, is you can get them free many a times from creeks and and stuff like that and you can find many unique shapes all kinds of shapes and uh and and colors in real rock another wonderful aspect of it is if you cannot find real rock to put in your fish tank you can always uh natural rock shall i say you can always go to landscaping places and you can usually get them for 25 cents a pound, sometimes 10 cents a pound. Counts on what it is. Counts, you know, sometimes they're a little bit more per, uh, per pound. I said landscaping place because if you buy real rock at an aquarium shop, somewhere like Petco or some aquarium shop, expect to pay a lot more money. And so um, those are the benefits. So benefits of real rock is they're natural. They stack well. If you, if you get them right, they can stack very well. Um, a lot of times they're a lot cheaper than uh, uh, fake decorations. Um, and real rock, at least in my case, it seems if you want that, that natural look, that algae to grow on, algae seems like that it grows on real rock twice as fast as it does on fake decorations. So that's something that you might want to keep in mind, uh, especially if you want you know that that algae look grown on your rocks and stuff like that and some of us want that kind of look some of us don't um so you know there there's an option there so um real rock also is something that is preferred because uh sometimes you can get a real rock and if you uh, according to what you get you have a relatively neutral softer water you don't raise your ph some real rock like texas holy rock um can definitely raise your ph 
And so uh, uh, that is a benefit actually to your aquarium if you got hard water fish that you are trying to keep. Uh, Central American fish, uh, guppies and platies and, and mollies, they like that hard water. Uh, many uh, African cichlids do and Central American cichlids like, like that hard water. And so they, they can benefit you in that as well. Okay, so those are some benefits of having natural rock. The price, the stacking ability, uh, the, the variety, the kind that you can get, and also what the effects uh, that it can have positively on some water chemistry. So let's talk about really quick the uh, downfalls, the cons of uh, having uh, natural rock. Well, here are uh, several cons. Uh, if most natural rock, I would say probably about 90% of them, it's absolutely safe for aquariums, but there is that rare 10% that is not safe for aquariums. So you really do need to do something like a vinegar test to make sure that they are safe for your aquarium. Now someone will, will start to fizz if their Texas Holy Rock, uh, they are safe for your aquarium. But if you don't necessarily want your pH or your GH in, and, and, or you won't want your hard water, or you don't want hard water, then stay away from the Texas uh, Holy Rock. You can get regular natural brown rock like this and uh, put it in your tank, wash it off, and uh, it will be just fine. Uh, another con to it is you, if you get them out of a, from somewhere natural, you will have to do quite a bit of cleaning to those rocks. Um, wash them off and soak them in bleach, uh, have bleach and have water sometimes and rinse them off. So it takes a little effort to, to get free stuff uh, to wash them off. Even if you buy them from the store, they still need to be thoroughly washed, such as Dragonstone uh, and things of that nature, which is, by the way, an excellent, beautiful rock. Um, uh, and, and another downfall to um, uh, rock, real natural rock, if you have a bunch of them like I do in this big tank of mines back here, um, they can displace uh, quite a bit of water. I guarantee you if I take out uh, these rocks out of my tank, I will probably lose probably about uh, between somewhere uh, between 7 and 10 gallons of water possibly. You know, so that's quite a bit of water uh, that it's uh, displacing in your tank there. Another thing about uh, that downfall about uh, real rock, especially if they're heavy, like, like the ones I got, if you have a glass tank, you better make sure that you set them right. <laughs> you better make sure that you put at least an air crate on, on the bottom or you got a lot of sand and you don't got fish that like to dig a lot. Because let me tell you something, that much weight in a glass tank, mine is acrylic, but if you got a glass tank, yes, look for it. Your fish dig, and when them big old rocks come tumbling down on top of that glass, you're gonna be disappointed. So, and think about it this too. A lot of glass tanks have got tempered glass, which means something hits it and strikes it, it shatters, and all your water, fish and everything's going right on the floor. That's not going to be pretty. So that's another thing you need to be cautious with with real rock. But if you stack them properly, if you got a glass tank, put an egg crate, a crate on bottom, then you should be fine. If you got an acrylic tank, you're, you're just fine. You don't have to go through all that. You don't have to put an egg crate on bottom and all that stuff. You can set them around the bottom of the ar 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 acrylic tank, stack them well, and it should, and for most, most cases, be fine. Uh, but just be careful, make sure that when you do your real rock, try to put them in if you can first uh, and then put your sand around those rocks and that way there's no chance of them really, the fish digging it up and trying to tumble your rocks. If you put them in later, you have to scoot that sand around, make sure you try to put them on the bottom and then the best you can and then uh, stack them and they stack really nice and really fine. So those are some downfalls, some cons about real rock. And then one more con that I should, should say, according to the type of real rock you got, some of them after years, may I add, years of being in a tank, will, some of them will start to break down like Texas Holy Rock or, or, or Dragonstone will eventually start to break down. But the rocks like I got right here, these natural rocks, these babies will, these babies will outlast you. They will last in your tank forever. They will not break or corrode down. And they have been in your tank for your generation, your children's generation, and probably your other, your, 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 your grandchildren's generation. And so, uh, it's kind of the, according to the kind of rock you, you get, 
uh, they can uh, break down. And also another con with real rock is if you <coughs> gas on the kind of rock that you buy, they can actually, in some cases, be more expensive to buy per pound than actually buying fake rock. Um, you think about Dragonstone, Siri, uh, uh, a rock, or, or, or Siru, a rock. Um, you're looking at uh, Dragonstone, Texas Holy Rock. Those rocks can be a lot of money, especially if you get them online somewhere. Um, if you don't look for those rocks, like in maybe uh, 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 discount stores like uh, Home Depot or or Lowe's or something like that, those rocks can be quite expensive to buy online or from an aquarium store. And so um, they can be expensive or they can be extremely cheap or they can be free. It's just according to how you go about it. So um, if you have a large tank like the one that I got in the back, you want to decorate it with a lot of rock, if you can find them for free, that's the route that I will go if you're trying to save money. If you're not trying to save money, then maybe you should actually think about getting what I'm going to talk to you next about is fake rocks. Now, uh, fake rocks. What are the cons? What are the pros and cons about fake rocks? Well, let's talk about the pros of having fake rocks. Well, fake rocks. The pros is they can come in many different shapes and forms. Uh, in most cases, uh, as long as you get them from the right source, they will not leach out anything bad into your tank. Minimal cleaning. A lot of times they will have uh, little holes in them that the fish can swim in. Um, uh, they will. Uh, they don't displace much water. Uh, they come in many different kind of colors and stuff like that. Um, just like real rock, you can do this with real rock too. You can also paint real rock as well as fake rocks and then epoxy coat them. And you can do the same thing with real rock. And uh, they won't displace much water. Um, they are very cool. Um, sometimes if you get something like Texas Holy Rock, I'm uh, not Texas Holy Rock, but Cichlid Stones, I'm sorry. Uh, sometimes they have little holes that the fish can, can, can swim in and uh, sometimes they can uh, uh, just provide many different wonderful benefits to your tank and sometimes you can even get them like this you know a wonderful design rock like that you know look how wonderful that is you know you can get them with uh, they have a many different holes in them and stuff like that that your fish can swim in and, and out of and stuff like that uh, uh, sometimes you can get them uh, according to what you get a little bit cheaper uh, according to the kind of rock you're, you're, you're thinking about getting a little bit cheaper than getting um, actual the actual real deal so let's take for instance if this was a Texas Holy Rock you know this size you know this one here I think cost me 42 no 40 42 to 49 dollars for 50 dollars for this rock if I was to get a Texas Holy Rock like this, try to get it shipped to me, it will probably be like $75, $85 easily, you know, because of the weight of the rock and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, also, you don't have to worry about fake rocks altering your pH or, or anything like that if you don't want your pH altered. So, fake rocks definitely have its benefits. Now, what are the downfalls of fake rock? Number one downfall is the price. Uh, one fake rock can cost you one little fake you know fake rock can cost you sometimes uh, like this one you know of course you know forty fifty dollars you know uh, you can get a group of fake rocks that cost you over a hundred and some dollars now and they can go up from there you know they can be as cheap as ten ten dollars as high as two three four hundred dollars just to get uh, you know fake rock I can imagine what it would cost me to fill up this tank full of cichlid stones. Can you imagine the cost it would, it would take to fill up this tank full of cichlid stones? It would probably cost me almost as much as the tank itself is. So the cost of fake rocks can be tremendous according to what you're trying to accomplish. Another downfall that the, the fake rocks, many of them uh, sadly, uh, at least in my case, cast on what kind you get, I guess, many of them don't stack as well, at least in my opinion, as real rock do. Once you get those real rocks stacked well, those babies are stacked really well and tight in your tank. Fake rocks a lot of time are a lot lighter and they don't stack uh, as well. Another downfall to fake rocks is they are breakable. 
Yes, they are breakable. A lot of them made out of poly resin or, or some other kind of material. You drop them, uh, you break them. Texas, uh, I mean, not Texas, keep saying that. But Cichlid Stones is made out of uh, clay, like terapods. I dropped one of these a few days ago and it shattered to pieces. If it was one of my big rocks, it would have probably shattered my floor to pieces, <laughs> but no. <laughs> but, it, but I'm just saying easily, the fake rocks do break easily. Trust me, I broke several of them just by dropping them. Um, this rock here, as you can see, there's a crack up here. I was just had it up on something. With the looking around, it fell off and pow, there you go. It, it broke off, you know. Big old hole right there. Um, and I had to glue it back. Another downside about some fake rocks uh, that I will definitely say is ones like this one that's got all them little holes in it. So many people have reported that their fish have gotten stuck inside these holes, couldn't find their way out, and have died. And so that's another, you know, negative point about some uh, uh, fake rocks. And sometimes uh, you, you're getting ready to move the rock out, and if you don't notice it, a fish is swimming here, get scared, stuck. You take it out, you don't notice that the fish is, is, is in here. He's stuck. You take the rock out, do, do your business, come back, and you got a dead fish inside of this rock. And so that too can also be a downside about some fake rocks. Um, and so there's definitely the cons and pros uh, to having fake rocks as uh, well. And so which one should you choose? Should you choose a nice real rock like this, which I got for free, which is pretty awesome, you know? Or a nice fake rock like this, which I paid a lot of money for. <laughs> that uh, is also very awesome as well. So which one should you choose? The fake rock or the real rock? Well, in my opinion, it is up to you. Both of them will, will benefit your aquarium in some way, form, or another. Both of them will add hiding spots. Uh, both of them will uh, uh, grow algae on them eventually. I think the real rocks will grow algae faster, but the fake rocks will definitely get algae on them as well. Uh, both of them will make your tank pleasantly look good according to what you got. So here's my thing. If you, if you want the best of both worlds, get the best of both worlds. Get your fake rocks and then get your real rocks and kind of mix them in together. And if they can blend well together, then you got yourself a really nice setup there. Because eventually, I will probably take out some of my real rocks and I will probably put them in, hopefully you can see them there, but these fake rocks right here, these fake stones, which are pretty awesome. But I'm only going to take out a few of my real rocks. Some of the ones that's in the middle, not all of them. Because if I was to take out all my real rocks and try to replace them with those rocks, which now going on Amazon for $145 for maybe for, for a six-piece set, it would uh, break the bank with me to try to fill my entire tank with that kind of rock. And so um, it's up to you on what you want to get. And uh, don't think that, too, that um, unless you uh, epoxy coat them, that uh, fake rocks won't deteriorate in your aquarium. Because they will, and they can over time, especially with their paint. That paint will get the rubbing off and, and get the fading off after, after a few years. And uh, now you got this uh, rock in your aquarium that don't even have the same quality that it used to have. And I've even noticed that some, after some time, will start to break, break off break off pieces off, off, off of them. So, yeah, that can actually happen with some fake rocks too. Uh, but, uh, uh, like I said before, if you got rocks like I got back here, these solid brown rocks that I got from the creek and stuff like that, these things will last forever. Um, there are fake rocks that will last for many years too, so you can definitely take advantage of that. So it's just really, at the end of the day, it's really up to you on what you are trying to look for, what you want to spend, and what you want to do in your aquarium. So hopefully I've covered most of the facts about having real rock and fake, fake rock. Um, I think there's definitely benefits, cons, cons and pros to both of them. So uh, it, the choice is up to you. Until then, Aquarium uh, Hacks out, and we'll see you on the next video.